Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. Since I have the Laco Valencia 42 in on loan, or actually it's a tour watch from Random Rob, and I have a similar looking watch in my collection that I basically just keep in a box and don't wear, I figured I would put together a video comparing the two of these. So again, this is the Laco Valencia 42. This is powered by a Miyota 821A, which is an automatic hand winding, non-hacking movement. It does have the very small date window there. And with the display case back, you can see the rotor in there and this uh, small kind of size movement compared to the case. Um, this is a 42 millimeter case. And this guy here has a 41 millimeter case. This is all polished as compared to the brush brushing on the Laco. And actually, Laco and Stova were two of the five original watch companies that provided watch to the German Air Force during World War II. It was Laco, Stova, A Lang, A Long, and Zona, uh, IWC, and Wempe. So, Stova Marine Original has the sub-seconds, small sub second style there. These hands are actually heat blued. I'm not sure if you can see that with the lighting here. Maybe I'll shine a light on it. It's not the easiest to see those heat blued hands. Well, maybe you can see it better on, the, on your end of the camera there. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. And on the Laco, these are painted black, uh, black Arabics. Everything is black, and that's because this has a full loom dial, and the Stova does not have any loom. Should let me hit it with the UV light here. Assuming I can find it. Yep, here it is. So maybe you can see that thing glowing like a flashlight. And the stove, well, you can see the straps light up, but uh, no loom on the stove there. So let's go over the dimensions real quick. Let me put this back. Well, it doesn't matter, but I'll have this one on the left. So Laco again, 42 millimeter case size. Stova is 41. Lug to lug on both of these is 50. The Thickness on the Laco and the Stova are the same. Well, pretty much the same. The Laco is 12 and the Stova is 11.8. The lug width on the Laco is 20 and on the Stova it is 22, which you can probably see there. Um, crown size on the Laco is actually larger, which is a little, well, it's kind of funny to me because the Stova is actually hand winding. The Laco is automatic, but this has a eight millimeter crown and on the Stova is 7.2. I guess it's not really that much of a difference, but it, it does look quite a bit different. Let's see if I can put these back to back or closer together. So the crown on the Stova is signed, but you know, keep in mind, I haven't looked at the prices on these recently, but um, the Marine Original is twice the price of this particular Laco here. Um, Laco does have a hand winding version of this watch, which I think is still a little bit less than the Stova, but it does have the blued hands and a manual movement. So that'd be a little more of a fair comparison. But this is what I have on hand, so I figured I'd show you guys here. I'll put them both on wrist. If you see my previous videos, you'll know this strap doesn't really fit my wrist. Actually, I don't think the Stova does either. I've, I haven't worn it, really. I uh, wanted that watch for a long, long time and finally was able to purchase it. And it, it just, uh, I don't know, just isn't really clicking with me. I, I do I do need to sell it, but you know how that goes. So 
Anyway, here's the Laco on wrist. We'll zoom out. And actually, you know, I didn't show you the movement on the Stova, so I'll do that in a moment here. After this. Actually, I'll do the wrist shot for both of these, and I'll show you the Stova movement. It's just a highlight of the watch for me. Well, this, there's other things as well, but I really like the movement on this. So let me put this one on wrist. So this strap does fit me a little better. Yeah, I don't want to force it on the last hole position there. So here we go with the Stova Marine Original. Man, I really like this watch, but it's I just feel like it's too big for my wrist. Oh, this thing is just gorgeous. All right, let me show you the movement on this. This is the Stova strap, by the way. It's got the assigned buckle there. I believe this is the old logo as well. So anyway, let's uh, let's look at the dials real quick. Numerals are the same style. Maybe the four is a little bit different. The font's a little bit different, I guess. So this does say made in Germany at the six o'clock position. And this one also says made in Germany. I think you can see that there. Well, the, I'm not sure what the dial is made of, but I like to dial on the stove more than the Laco, even though it does have the full loom. Anyway, um, and let's just look at that movement. I think this is a little bit. Uh, the newer ones have more decoration on the, I think it's the mainspring gear there. Let me show you when I wind it. So this has the swan neck regulator over here. This is the cool watch. But anyway, I was talking about the size of the movement on this. The case is much larger than the movement. This one here, the case is this size because of the movement. It's the only way the movement would fit in a uh, watch is if it was larger. This is the Unitas 6498 uh, mechanical hand wind movement, 17 joules. I get lost looking at this movement. It's not even really you know, all that decorated compared to others, but I think it's cool to look at. Actually, I can show you. I don't think I've ever showed this on camera before. The pocket watch I have here. I believe this is the same movement. The Bolvo pocket watch. Well, I guess it's a little bit different. The mainspring is in a different position. Oh, because of the crown being here. So yeah, I guess it's not the same movement. They look similar. I never actually compared these side by side. So. Anyway. It's just a. Uh, well kind of quick little video here. Comparing the. Stova Marine Original. To the. Laco Valencia. 42. I would like to see if I can get this watch in 39. But anyway. Um, as always thank you for watching. You could uh, please like the video if you have liked it, or even if you haven't, uh, either way is fine with me. Uh, please feel free to leave comment and uh, subscribe if you have not done so. Thanks for watching.